Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Etsy. We're gonna be doing some online houseplant shopping. If something really catches my eye, then perhaps I will uh, take a stab at it. Before we get into everything, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description. It only costs $5 a month and you'll join an entire community of 160 houseplant parents. Basically in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I would kind of go about looking at houseplants online. If I think something's good, if I don't think something's good, why or why not? But we're just gonna take a look at what Etsy has to offer right now. I haven't done this in quite a few months, so the online houseplant scene has changed quite drastically lately, if you know what I mean. So let's take a look at some awesome houseplants. Okay, so you'll see I actually have pulled up is the philodendron ilsimoniae. I searched this just for kicks and giggles uh, to see what would happen, but it is here for $27,000. I actually have not seen a hard price on this thing. Usually these are sold in private. Reset phytosanitary certificate, 100% seen as in photos, committed to packing the best possible way, ready to ship in one to three business days, and it is shipping from Thailand, so that's pretty cool. This guy does have really good reviews though, so it is possible, it is pretty legit. Hopefully the cells in this guy make some serious bank. I searched this for kicks and giggles and there was an actual listing, so I thought that that was pretty funny. All right, let's look. Is there any more search results or is it just that? Philodendron Felix, what the heck is this? Is this like a UPI with a billy tie. It kind of grows like a UPI. This could sell out soon. Thank you, Etsy. <laughs> what I don't like is when it says that yellow and droopy leaves are normal. I have had plants arrive to me from Thailand before that looked like I bought them in a shop in America that day. So I honestly feel like that's a cop out. I understand wanting to put something like this in here, but I really feel like that's a cop out for in case something goes wrong. It's not normal. If you package plants correctly, the plants will arrive in really, really good condition. Any hoosies, it looks like he has amazing reviews. So that is great, but this is a really sick plant. I wish I knew what it was. Like, I know it says Felix, but like, what does that mean? What does that tell me? All right, let's get specific here. Let's search for a Sancti, cause why not? Na, na, na. Oh, right, I forgot. These are more popular now. <laughs> so when I first joined uh, the houseplant community, you literally could never even find a listing of these. Okay, cute. We have $5,000 for a Sancti seedling, about 6,000 for another Sancti seedling, 10,000 for a whole plant. Gabrielle Mercantile is actually legit, uh, so you can trust this listing in my opinion, which is not professional and I do not know this person, but they do have like 20,000 sales. They usually get pretty amazing reviews. Could own this plant for just $266 a month. That's like a car payment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I am jealous. I wish that I could afford this. I'm hoping I can trade my Ilsamani eye for a uh, Sancti at some point, like a cutting of one. What I am concerned about is how the tissue culture Sanctis are going to grow. <sighs> Materials, live Albo Borsigiana. Forgot to change the tags there, my guy. Yeah, that, that's, that's a Sancti. That's a little baby, all right. $5,000. I wonder how they got this. I know that Sanctis are being tissue cultured, so I wonder if this is a tissue culture baby. Could be a real baby, like a non-tissue culture plant, but just makes me curious, very curious. Okay, well, now that we know that some of the most elusive plants are actually on the market, that's pretty ridiculous. Why don't we check out how Monstera Oblique is doing right now? I think you guys will be shocked. Maybe not. If you've been watching my videos, you won't be shocked. All right, are you? Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay, that makes sense for just the runner, but yeah, you click baited me there, Crassula King. Yeah, so this right here is just a runner and it uh, ships out from Florida, leafless, uh, node cuttings. Uh, let's go back to the search results because there are some plants that are really cheap. So this one, this is an oblique node. I oblique. Oblique, I believe it. <laughs> this is pretty sick though. This is, from what I can tell, a real Monstera Oblique. However, they only have four sales, but they do have five stars. I don't think I'd purchase this because for me, that's not enough stars for me to necessarily trust it. Oh, never mind. Variegated Monstera Peru. 
Durgan Monster of Peru. Okay, well, I would trust this because those are some pretty ridiculous plants. Pretty expensive and they all shipped and everyone said five stars. So I would trust this. That <laughs> is $200 cheaper than I paid for my Oblica. Oblica prices right now are plummeting. I did make a video on it. You can check it out at the top right hand corner of this here video, but this is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The prices are plummeting. There's actually a whole Facebook situation about this where a seller decided the entire group was no longer gonna sell Oblica to try to bring the prices back up. Well, that's what you could infer uh, from what they were saying. I'm not gonna lie, this is really, really, really cool. Britannica is for 650. That's around what I paid for mine, but it has two leaves and it's like rooted, so it's like a plant. Let's look at Monstera Albo. Let's see what's happening with those right now. Okay, 240. $205, variegated Monstera, 230. I was kind of hoping the prices on these would drop more because the market's been so flooded with them, but it looks like it's kind of about the same. Wet Stick Express. I mean, way to own it. Literally, way to own it. <laughs> Let's see this. Okay. Okay, these are pretty good prices here. 259, that's beautiful, that leaf. That's a really pretty leaf. This is probably one I would buy. However, I'm not loving the quality of, of this, personally. I will never buy something that doesn't have at least some water roots going because it's not a safe bet. It's different if it's local because then you can examine it yourself. Even though the prices are really good, probably gonna be fine. That's just not a vibe. However, I do like the business model. I like the Wet Stick Express. I think that's a great name. I think it's great to own, it. like that's what you're doing. If I could give some critique, and my critique is valuable, I think, I would say root out your plants a little bit before you sell them. Uh, otherwise you might end up with lost plants. I know that whenever I ship albos uh, and they don't have any roots, even if I keep them in a wet medium while they're being shipped, Usually they'll show up with some little yellowing and then the leaves will just kind of fall off and people will be left with a node. I gave this advice to Varagata777. For all intents and purposes, as far as I can tell, they took that advice and now they're one of the most popular, if not the most popular, albo sellers on Etsy with thousands and thousands of sales of just albos. My guy is currently sold out, but look at this. 3,000 sales, 5,400 admirers. I love this guy, Bo is great. That was wonderful. Looks like he hasn't sold anything since two days ago. Yeah, so it looks like he just sold out. He makes amazing plants. We love Bo. He's my favorite person. Like whenever people are like, where should I buy an Albo online? I'm like, Varagata777 or Botanicas. Let's check out Botanicas. I haven't been on Etsy in so long. I've been saving it for a video. Ooh, they're starting to sell their hybrids. Oh my gosh, this shake. Anya. She does this to me on purpose. This is something I would buy right now. If I had even just a little bit of extra money this month, I would buy this right now. Wow, they even show you like the damage on the leaf. That is so cool of them. I freaking love Botanicas. <laughs> I get violent about it. Oh, I miss them. I hope they bring me out again soon. Uh, I would buy this right now. I might buy this right now. It would be a very irresponsible purchase. I bought a lot of workout clothes this month. Uh, cause I've been working out a lot, <gasps> so my size has been changing, so I needed to buy some new clothes. Uh, and I opted to buy some clothes that are gonna last me a very long time, which were medially expensive. But this is kind of a big deal. <laughs> that's a really good price. <sighs> okay, that's tough. This is tough for me. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Oh, it's perfect. I already have one from her. I have one. I have one that's actively growing and perfect, but I also want that one. <laughs> Anya, why do you do this to me? Oh, that's really pretty. Variegated out in Sonii. That's a really pretty one. That's like minty. <gasps> oh, it's minty as heck. Pink princess, $66. Well, wow, they got a lot of good plants. This is a problem. Wow, 100. Okay, pink princess prices have been dropping like mad. Cool, oh my gosh. 
it's so cool because I've seen, I've been to their shop twice in person. Like, well, two trips, but multiple times I've been to their shop and I've seen all their stock. And it's so awesome to see things that she was like, oh, these aren't ready yet, these aren't ready yet. And now they're like on their website. And so it makes me so happy. Oh, this is one of my favorite plants in the world. Yopiai. 9.50. I love this plant very much. I have a white one. I would love to have a yellow one. It's difficult though because sometimes Oreos will come from the white ones. So uh, I love looking through the Botanica shop because there's so much to look at. There's so many pages so you can just like scroll through and relax. Usually what I do is I look at houseplants while I'm falling asleep. <laughs> It's really relaxing for me. It puts me in a really happy space. Oh, look at all these little pink princesses for only 60 bucks. Oh my God. Shut up. Darth Vidariana and Sarawak. You didn't have to go so hard. Here's the oblique we looked at earlier. Lots of little pink princess boys. Wow. I don't know, man. I just love it. I love everything. This is one that's on my wish list. Zephophyla. This is one of my favorite begonias she sells. And occasionally she'll sell it again. And then I panic. And then every time I don't buy it because I'm responsible. But then every time I wish I did. All right. Cool. That was Botanica's. This is cool though. Look at all the babies. Ah, oh, I love them. Why don't we look for Philodendron? All right, so this is one of the more expensive plants I've seen right now. Um, I lo I'm loving mine. Living, laugh, loving mine. Uh, but this is definitely a more expensive plant right now. I think it's just because it just burst onto the market not too long ago. People are kind of going wild over it, kind of charging whatever they want, which is totally cool. But I'm obsessed with this plant. I want to cut mine and grow mine, like a bunch of them from little nodes. But the problem is, is that I'm so indecisive about doing that. I wonder how many people are accidentally selling uh, like pothos. That's really beautiful one. I, I love that leaf right there. Okay, which else should we look at? Let's look at Pink Princess. Yeah, look at this. $92, $60. Just on the, just these couple rows, you guys, there's no, there's no price here. I'll move myself. There is no price on any of these first couple rows. Okay. That's not over 200. No 200. Oh, there's our first 200. There's a, there's a 1500. <laughs> But okay, first 200, okay, that's big. It's a big plant, why not, right? Uh, 60, 60, 160, 60, 120, 80. This plant is plummeting in price. The plant bubble is popping. Prices are like plummeting down to the ground. Well, if you've been wanting a pink princess, now's your time to buy it. All right, let's check out. Let's check out Rare Hoya. Speaking of Hoya, my multi-floor is about to pop right now and I'm so excited. Let's look for some ones we haven't seen before. So this is one that I have. One Hoya I really want right now is a Sigillatus. Ooh, it's a Suzy Q. That's, that's really adorable. So this is kind of like a miniature crimson queen kind of these are all types i've seen before i'd love to see something i haven't seen before i have a couple people who are talking to me about trading me a clementorium which is nice that is large for sure from thailand but i don't i do not want to buy plants from another country i want to buy them here so that they arrive to me a couple days after i buy them fuwa and sis fuwa that's fun. That's like a big sigillatus. Let's try Monstera Peru. This is a plant I want desperately. I feel like I should be good at taking care of the normal plant first. <laughs> also, I think that these are notorious for reverting. Harley bought a sick one, like a really, really cool one. And so that one, I'm not like so worried about that one reverting because it's like, it's proven, it's put out like eight or 10 leaves. But buying a one node, it's so tough. Let's take a look at Monstera Sport Variegation. Nothing? Ooh, are Oreos coming down in price? Cause those used to be over 1000. Is not a sport. I'm very sorry to burst your bubble. It's normal for Monstera to have that kind of like streaking on it. Oh, I see. That's what we're looking at. 
Yeah, unfortunately, that's not enough to count as a sport. That won't carry through. Plants uh, will do that all the time. Like, they will throw out a piece of irrigation or two. But unless it's, like, pretty dominant, it doesn't really count as a sport. This is really beautiful, though. Check this out. Wow. I would die for Riley. Okay, you guys know Inside Out. Okay, one of my favorite quotes from it that I say all the time and no one gets it is, I die for Riley. So now whenever I see, like, whenever I see things I like, I don't ever say it because no one ever knows what I'm talking about. But I think it's so funny. I thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. I die for Riley. I like to say it. I'd like to say it at least. I can't think of anything else I really want to look at. I feel like I've kind of seen everything. Okay, the thing is, I don't know a whole lot about Ethereums. I've never really delved into the world of it. Uh, there's a couple that I know that I like that I want. Oh my God, this is one of the ones I have always kind of wanted. Moody Anum, because it's so moody, you know? I also would love to have a Palidiflorum and a Windlingery. I will own them someday. It's just hard for me to justify buying Anthurium because you can't really propagate them that well. So it's hard to kind of make your investment back on them. You know, Forget AI prices look like they're the same as they've been for the last couple years. Like all these prices look the same. I think it's because the Anthurium market is still kind of niche. People don't like join the plant community and then immediately become obsessed with Anthurium. The only ones I've really seen break the bubble were the Clarinervium. Those used to be so expensive. Oh, I need to put that on my list. Those used to be so expensive and now they're really not that expensive. Also, Wendelin Gris is kind of a popular one. And then the Warquianum and the Forgettii and the Crystallinum and the Doriaki. Those are kind of the ones that people know of. There's a lot that people don't know about. All right, let's look into Rare Philodendron. The only type prices are about the same as well. Okay, caramel marble is such a popular plant. And personally, I really don't like it that much. If I could buy one for like 50 bucks, I'd probably be down. But I just don't love it. It's kind of a weird shape. Same with the ring of fire. I don't really love it. I like all my philodendrons to have like the same shape. Ooh, I do love me a squamacall though. I would love a squamacall. I would love a serpents. I love both of those. I also would love an El Choco Red. And I would also love a Majestic. Why are we on eBay in Fran French? All right, look at that, Pokemon cards, baby. Uh, let's take a look at Philodendron Elsamonii. Since we haven't been here in a while, no exact match is found. Let's check out the Spirit of Sancti. Okay, this looks kind of like the one that we saw. Not tissue culture. That's good to know. Oh, let's look at strawberry shakes on Etsy before we go. Oh my god, they're getting so cheap! Ah. Eight sales, five star review. Quite a little guy. A little noty dude. $275. I'd say that's probably worth it. Won't lie, you guys. 750, 420, blaze it. I don't like them when they get their mature size. I really don't. Are you guys like that with me? Because I really like the teeny ones. God, duh. I want to buy the Botanicas one so bad. So bad. I have one from them already. I don't need to buy another one. I literally already own one from them. But this one's so pretty. It's technically a write off. Should I do it? <sighs> I won't. I won't. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'm gonna make the responsible decision to my chagrin. I'm not gonna do it, but one of you guys should because this is a ridiculous price for the plant that you're getting. And it's coming from a certifiably amazing brand and all their plants always arrive in perfect, like look at this, 24,000 sales, five star review, and all these other ones that we were looking at, which we'll never find our way back to ever again. They were, yeah, we'll never find our way back to those. They were all so much more expensive for so much less. If you don't buy this, I'm serious. After I get paid, I will. All right, I think that this is a good place to end our video, to end our little hangout. Thanks for hanging out with me while I look at houseplants on the internet. I think I might start doing this live. 
I've been toying around with the idea of streaming more. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Plant Me Ashley. And uh, let me know if you'd like to watch this kind of thing live. Also, also, become a channel member. It only costs $5 a month, and you join an entire community of 160 houseplant parents. It's a pretty fun time, if I do say so myself. So uh, come join. We've got an awesome Discord server, and it's super fun. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section. Goodbye. Oh, and thank you so much for the extra channel support to the planted Carly flower, all the green places, and botanicas.